What is up ladies and gentlemen, Creepers here and today I'm doing another how to play in Paladins video and today is going to be Cyrus. I think it's Cyrus. Is it Cyrus? Cyrus? I don't really know. You guys tell me in the comments. I, I usually call her Cyrus. I think it is Cyrus. Um, she's a support. She heals uh, and also she also has 2600 health. She has an amazing ultimate, an amazing uh, I'll call it fire rate when it comes to healing because you can actually heal up to every one second if you have the perfect cards and that's what I'm gonna teach you guys today so first things first I'm gonna just talk about the skills really really fast first we have the soul orb which is our normal attacks and I'm gonna you know I'm gonna say it with the least words I can basically you send orbs with your hands it goes through enemies if you, you can actually hit several different enemies with the same orb you have up to 12 orbs each orb does 210 and each time you hit somebody each uh, each time you touch somebody it actually tags them it, it stays an orb into that person and you can actually stock up stack that up until four so each enemy can actually have four different orbs stuck to them but they have a little a little limited time and where are these Orbs are gonna be like the ones that are tagging these people are basically for their fourth ability which is called Ren Soul. You detonate all of your active soul charges. So basically it acts like bombs. You tag them and at the same time you just use Ren Soul and it acts like bombs. But not just that, it does a hundred damage per orb and also heals you for 15% of your maximum life each orb. So imagine you only need up to seven orbs to actually put your life completely to 100%. And this is counting that you're zero life possible. Now, the second ability, which is her supposed most used ability, which is Restore Soul since she is a healer, this is gonna heal an ally for 1000 for each second. And it does this during two seconds. So you're gonna heal up to 2000, sec 2000 health. Um, it has a 4 second cooldown, but I usually use the cards that are gonna take away 2 seconds, so it's gonna take 2 seconds to reuse this, but at the same time you buy Chronos and it even goes lower than that. So that's awesome. Then we have Shadow Travel. Basically this is our escape ability, and you go completely invisible and you're immune to everything for 4 seconds. It's like you're on a different reality, but you can still see people in your... You're just it's, Everything is like in shadow mode, so, sort of like that. Finally, we have our ultimate, which basically you send like uh, the core from your weapon and what it does, it acts like a black hole, it pulls all of your enemies into the middle and you can actually just tag them all together with your orbs and or even your teammates can actually kill them, so that's awesome. Now, the legendary cards are the ones I'm gonna um, want to talk about, which is Agony, Mortal Reach and Soul Collector. I usually use Mortal Reach for only one specific situation when the maps are really really big because it gives you one second more of healing which means you heal up to 3000 instead of 2000 and it also increases your range of healing so you can heal from very far distance away. You can heal people who are in the middle while you're just looking from almost the spawn so it's awesome. Now, Agony, it's the one I usually use a lot so I can help my teammates because it stuns people when you put four soul charges in them. Okay, so you tag a person with four orbs, automatically you use Rend, Soul, and you stun them. So that is amazing. Like, imagine if Fernando just used the four orbs and as soon as he pulls out the shield, just use Rend, Soul, and he loses the shield. So that's awesome and it's also amazing when it comes to damage because you stun these people even if a flank comes after you just use this to your advantage and then we have the soul collector soul collector what it does is uh, it increases your maximum health and also the damage based on how many charges you already put in you need only eight you just need to put tag eight orbs into people and as soon as you rent soul your health goes from 2600 to 3016 and you do up to, instead of 210 per orb, you do 244. So it gives you extra damage and it gives you extra life, so you're harder to kill. 
And that is awesome, but I usually don't use this because I tend more into going to stuns, which is something really annoying, and also the healing. That's the only things that I truly really want to use. Now, I created these two loadouts right here, which is a weakness, wickedness and the soul forge on top this one is just a test forget about it um and this is what the cards are if you want just pause to copy the cards but i'm gonna explain really really fast what why did i choose these cards the first one is soul forge four with four points it reduces the cooldown of resource soul by two seconds now this is what i really want i want to re reduce the resource soul the maximum i can so it only takes up to two seconds to actually use the ability you know, you heal somebody, two seconds after you heal somebody else, 2,000 each healing, so that's amazing. And if you're using the other legendary card, which gives, gives you one extra second, you heal 3,000, you wait two seconds. You heal 3,000, you wait two seconds, and you heal 3,000 again. You, in less than probably like 15 to 20 seconds, you can heal your entire team. Okay, so that's amazing. Also, if you use Kronos, uh, which is usually, usually what I always use with healer so I can have the healing ability much faster um, it's going to allow you to heal more then the second card is fate to the black resource soul reduces the cooldown of shadow travel by 0.6 every second while channeling so if you're using the card the legendary card that actually gives you up to three seconds this is gonna give you extra so instead of 1.2 seconds for the normal reduced by just using one resource soul you will reduce automatically 1.8 seconds of re of shadow travel every time you heal so that's amazing because you just use you can use like the restore soul so so fast it's really easy to actually reduce this shadow travel so you go invisible and get basically you're impossible to kill while you're in shadow walk in shadow travel so like for example sky tries to kill you um, a buck flanks you know Somebody comes comes after you, and you can use the um, the shadow travel for your advantage to actually stop somebody from capturing the point. You can actually contest it while in this mode, so it's actually amazing. The third card is increase your movement speed in shadow travel by 40% because I want to move faster when I'm in shadow travel. Because if I don't, people are gonna go sort of. It's four seconds. You don't really have a lot of time to actually run away, and this gives you extra speed so you can try to hide yourself below you know uh, um, behind a wall and that's what you want you want that extra little speed then we have the fourth card you can actually change this for something else i just did this to give me an extra reduced cooldown on shadow travel which is dust walker 2 gives me one second reduced cooldown so this is you know uh, this is infinite it always goes from 14 seconds to 13 seconds as, lo as long as I use this loadout. And then we have the last card, which is Veil 2, which reduces the cast time of Shadow Travel by 30%. The reason why I do this is because uh, you go into Shadow Walk, you Shadow Travel much faster. In case the sky just goes and puts the Poison Bolts and then starts doing damage, you go in faster into Shadow uh, Travel and you save yourself faster. Okay, so this is very good. Also, I there's a card that I'm not using here, and probably a lot of people are thinking, thinking, why am I not using this? Uh, the card is this one, Blood Pack, which heals you while you're healing other people. Now, the reason why I don't do this is because you need a lot of points to actually make a good effect to you. Um, and I just tend to heal myself with the Rend Soul. I just spam those balls into the middle, and as soon as I need healing, I use the Rend Soul. That's what I that's what I use to heal myself, and that's what you guys should do. And then we have this second loadout which is the one where you stun people. Basically, I have also two seconds reduced cooldown on Ren Soul, so you can stun them faster and also heal yourself faster. As a matter of fact, now that I'm seeing this card in the middle, which is the one I just said, I'll probably go take it out. Um, you know what, I'll put the one... Uh, where is it? Hmm. I don't even know which one I should put. Okay, let's go with this one. Uh, if an enemy is affected with a soul charge, you move 8% faster. You probably will move 8% faster for each soul charge. So let's just take it with one point. It will help you go faster as well. As you see here, I only have one point on 
the movement speed when shadow travel but it still gives me extra speed so that's good and then we have again the reduce the cast time shadow travel by 30 percent so as i said this secondary this second uh loadout is for the stuns and the first one is for the heals the mortal reach okay now we're going into really really fast we're going into the training grounds so i can actually sh show you some tips and exercises for you guys to do so here we are guys we are at the training grounds uh first i'm going to use the agony which stuns people just so i can show you guys something really really fast um also the items that i usually use is resilience when there's somebody who can cripple me from going into shadow travel so i go into shadow travel uh faster if for example there's a bomb king um a grover that throws the horizontal axe that actually cripples you um even a buck that slows you down everything that even for example terminus when he smashes you and he stuns you if he's using the, that legendary card that stuns people um resilience is there it's your friend just use this one okay forget about the others you're not a, you're not somebody who needs to go after skies so forget about the illuminate forget about the blast shields and forget about the haven just go with resilience of course if there's actually no necessity for it you just have to study the champions if you think that there's no necessity for having resilience then don't get it just go with haven or blast shields depending on how much what's the worst type of damage that it's gonna have from from the enemy team uh, and here I always use Kronos so I can have more abilities to... Um, I, I want to use my abilities faster. Both uh, my Rendering Soul and my um, Resource soul, soul. I want to have that as fast as I can. Even the Shadow Travel is fa uh, to have it faster. Now here I never use anything because I can heal myself. I don't need anything from this. Anything at all. This is one of the only check-ins where I don't need a healing um, item and in here I only use two either cauterize or bulldozer although if you really want to go like with a damage and try to kill people like uh, with your ultimate just tag them all which I will show in just a minute uh, I would go with death hands but I never use death hands with her I usually go with cauterize if there's for example a ying healing and uh, maybe a barrack and an ara um, a rock um, all of those that put um, deployables into the game, I just go with this because it's really easy for me to tag them and I do some damage to those deployables and really, really fast and from a very far distance away. So it's really awesome. I would go with that. For now, we're just gonna go with Kronos to the maximum. And um, we're gonna start by just showing you like two tips uh, when it comes to healing. Uh, so. As you know, um, as I said, you can heal yourself with the brain soul, and this heals other people. So we're gonna make him take some damage. He's taking damage, and we're gonna heal him. You see there, plus two hundred, plus two hundred, plus two hundred, and we can heal so fast now that we change the cards. But it's amazing. I cannot play without these cards. You know these cards, and you know it's, if he keeps taking damage, it's gonna be hard. So what I usually do is I also do damage to people and stun them to save my my friends. You know, I'll, just killing will help you save people. Reload. And now, here's something. You can also heal yourself. Like this. Look at my life. And fail right there. Congratulations, creeper. Creepers. <laughs> that was really stupid. I'm gonna need to kill them because they're shooting, so they're not gonna go and out of combat. Double kill. Um, and I need to put four orbs in this, and four orbs in this. And as soon as I'm close to die, there you go. Automatically healed myself to the maximum possible. As I said, you can heal yourself with the brain soul. No need for items that are gonna heal you. Now healing, just you know, it's just. As soon as you can heal, just keep pressing that ability. Be careful because you can cancel it. As you saw there, I cancel it. You can t you can toggle between it healing and it not healing. Now the second tip for this, you can heal people from behind the wall. Just tag them before and go behind the wall, and you're healing them. Again, go behind the wall. You save yourself. Again, we'll go behind the wall. You don't need to go into the middle to actually heal people. Okay, you just need to have a line of sight to them let's just turn this off uh, as I was saying this this can actually stun people so it's good uh, as you can see here but you need the four 
over there to be there. And then you use Renzo, it's stunned. If you try to use it with three, let's try to use it with three, really, really fast. It only takes life, it doesn't stun, as you can see here, so no need to do that. Um, she actually does an amazing damage, let's see. I mean, it takes a little bit long, you know, um, but her ultimate is what really counts. You can actually change the entire game with her ultimate, uh, both for you and your teammates, because your teammates can actually get some penta kills with this. And I'm going to show you how. As you see here, we have five people, which is the equivalent to an enemy team. And I'm going to throw that. I'm going to try to use my ultimate as centered as possible to get everybody. And there we go. And just, just use this. And finish them off. Five people. And I got my 50% of my ultimate already. So as you can see, the ultimate also rises every time you hit somebody. Okay, and you can use this when it's they coming at you, you just stun them and finish them off while they're stunned. Okay. Double kill. Amazing. And we're gonna kill that one. And we're just gonna use our ultimate one last time. Let's just wait for it to respawn and to get out of immune. And there we go. Double kill. There you go. Five kill cam. Quadra kill. A pentakill. Penta there we go. Pentakill. Amazing. Now we're gonna change this so I can teach you which. What's the difference that I was telling you guys about? Chronos. Until the maximum. Forget about the rest. Just go with Chronos. And now let's see what's the difference with this one extra second. It's harder to kill, as you can see there. Of course, you have to cool down. You have to wait. But still, he's taking much more damage, he's, how do I say, this? he's staying much more time alive than before. And this is what you want. Okay, and I'm healing from, you know, from behind a wall. I'm keeping myself safe, but careful that every time that you heal, there's like this little trace, as you can see there on the left. And people will know where you are, and they're gonna come for you, and what you're gonna do? Imagine they're shooting you, just go with Shadow Travel, there we go. And run away and heal people from a very dark, far distance just hide yourself you can even fool people like in the, the outside of this wall there's actually a place where you can be but if you put yourself like this people will try to go from the outer, outside to see where you are but you need to tag them first and then go behind the wall and you get more points for healing as you saw there healing I just received 20 points and we can actually heal from a very far distance let me see with this legendary card look at look at the distance I don't think we can heal from because it's not on the right line of sight. I'm trying to get him. No, we can because it's not on straight line. But we can heal him from here. So imagine healing from a very far distance, like like the, almost the other side of the map. It's amazing. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's basically it. You got your ultimate. Use your ultimate on a very precise um, situation. Like for example, there's like. Five people in the point and your friends are about to get there just use your ultimate trap them in the middle of course this can be countered with resilience if there's an enemy Cyrus on the other team just go with resilience as well because it will stop you from being completely pulled to the core okay so you have your normal abilities to shoot it tags people you ran soul with it like this you see there on top there's a number saying how many rent so how many souls you have and also if you look on the left or, or ultimate button it, on the top of the rending soul it says how many are together eight and since this goes through people you can actually kill some flanks that are trying to hide themselves behind somebody else okay guys so just go into the middle, spam those orbs there. Just to, you know, annoy people. Use this to get a little extra healing and keep shooting. Killing spree. There we go. Double kill. Use your ultimate for the specific situations. Heal people the maximum you can. Every time you can heal somebody, just heal. Even if it's not necessary, just you know, just one little bit, just heal. Because that's gonna count as healing 
towards the end of the match and you're gonna get an amazing performance. So guys, that's all for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything that I did miss, uh, do tell me in the comments. Also tell me if it helped or not. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video.